Hello, my name is Marianne Boccolini, and I'm the president and CEO of Samaritan. It's that time of year when many in our region gather with family and friends to celebrate holidays and enjoy family traditions. No matter which holidays you celebrate, whether now or another time of year, please know that we are always here for you. Our compassionate, expert staff can help you anytime you are grieving the loss of a loved one. Our counselors provide private and group support along with online resources that can help relieve stress and anxiety. We thank you for joining our cherished annual Tree of Life Illumination. Last year we added Season of Light to enhance our celebration and we continue that theme this year as we remember and honor those we love. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. If you have joined us before, welcome back. Our hearts are with you all. We are honored and grateful that you have chosen to be with us to celebrate the lives of those who are dear to you. For all those we carry in our hearts, I would like to begin our program with a quote by Rosemary Burgo, a poet we were privileged to care for. Connected we were, connected we are, connected we will always be. No one goes through life untouched by personal grief and loss. While each of us brings our own unique memories and emotions, we stand together in this shared recognition of the place our loved ones held in our hearts and the light they will always be in our lives. Let us take this moment to feel the love for those who've brought light to our lives, to honor, to remember, and to celebrate them. Let's observe a moment of silence to quietly feel the connection we share with those who are present with us this moment and those who are within us. Now, please welcome the Vice Chair of our Samaritan Board of Trustees, Nandini Nachajan, for our first reading. For just a moment, I'm sure I see a flicker of light ahead. Perhaps it is your smile, though past now, remembered in my heart, like the small sound of a butterfly passing by. No night is so dark that it cannot be brightened with memories of you. These memories are the blessings that wash away my tears and bring me hope anew. This reading was adapted from a poem by Brenda Penipent. Now, let me introduce Samaritan Spiritual Support Counselor, Marianne Mitchell, for our second reading. Hope abounds. It lives in us, sometimes hidden, sometimes as a tiny spark of light. Then it rises up to sustain and comfort us. We will lighten the darkness with our hope, a sign of our love. We will see the glow we will know the warmth. As we gather to remember, we are healed, we are transformed. Yes, hope abounds. Let our hearts be open to the warmth and beauty of life in all its fullness. May our memories give us courage as we walk into the future with love. Now, Samaritan's music therapist, Sarah Coolin will sing an original song that she wrote and composed titled, There's a Light in My Heart. The days are growing shorter and with the winter winds I feel the pressing coldness and the shadow that it brings yet here i stand with purpose i hold a candle close i let its light bring comfort as i honor those i miss the most there's a light in so bright it shimmers there's a light in 
extinguished this light in my heart is my memory of you so when the days are lonely and I feel the coming night when the world just feels so empty it seems I've lost the fight I light a little candle I hold it up with pride I let its warmth surround me And fill me up inside There's a light in my heart It glows so bright shimmers there's a light in my heart it always tells the truth there's a light in my heart it can never be extinguished this light in my heart is my memory Our first reading tells us that no night is so dark that it cannot be brightened with loving memories. Our second reading speaks with great hope of the spark of light that rises up to sustain, comfort, heal, and transform us. There are times when we feel darkness in our grief, but the physical energy of light is a powerful antidote to that darkness. Our hope is to lift up each and every one of you with images of light. As you watch these lights, I invite you to take a moment and call to your heart the names of those you remember. Speaking their names reflects your love, provides renewed illumination for your journey, and joins us all together in the power and beauty of our collective memories. At this time, please let me introduce my colleague, spiritual support counselor, Rabbi Richard Simon, who will lead us in an interactive reading. If you've been affected by the loss of a loved one, whether it happened some time ago or more recently, there's not a moment or day that goes by when you don't think about that person. They live on through our memories and our love for them. While we are not physically together, I encourage you to participate in this interactive poem. After I read a line, please respond from wherever you are with, We Remember Them. At the rising of the sun and in its going down, we remember them. In the chill of winter, rebirth of spring, warmth of summer, and beauty of autumn, we remember them. When we are weary and in need of strength, we remember them. When we have joys we crave to share, we remember them. When we have achievements that are based on theirs, we remember them. As long as we live, they too will live, for they are now a part of us. We remember them. This reading was adapted from a poem, A Litany of Remembrance, by Rabbi Sylvan Kamins and Rabbi Jack Reimer. Thank you for participating. Now I'd like to introduce Chaplain Betty Warner, who will share a few uplifting, encouraging words. May the blessing of light be upon you within 
and around you. May an eternal light be your guide. May your heart glow with warmth like the fire that welcomes friends and strangers alike. Go forward and live your days in peace. Enjoy the warmth of your homes and the company of those close to you. Let your memories of your loved ones gone be your comfort and find renewal in the spirit we have shared together. I now invite you to participate in a blessing for yourself, for all those participating in this ceremony across our region. So place your hands open in front of you to receive this blessing. Bring your hand over your heart to bring that blessing close. And now share that blessing. Sweep your hand across to share your blessing with all those near you and those participating in the ceremony. Thank you. Now our second and final musical selection will be performed by Samaritan music therapist, Charity Jones. It's a piece called, I Choose Love by Mark Miller. Namaste.
Now I'd like to turn it back to Mary Ann Boccolini, President and CEO of Samaritan, who will bring the program to the point we've all been waiting for, the lighting of our tree. Now it's time to illuminate our tree of life, glowing with our shared love and memories. Every light on this tree symbolically celebrates the lives of all those you are honoring and remembering. How lovely is the glow of the light on the tree and the glow of light within each of us. Now I'd like to introduce Samaritan's Chief Development Officer, Chris Rollins, for the closing remarks. I'd like to take just a moment to thank our generous donors, many of whom have been a part of our Tree of Life celebration for many years. We're grateful for your support and honored to recognize you and your loved ones. Visit our website to see all those who participated in the Tree of Life and find out how you can join them. Your support makes a real difference in the care and lives of our patients and their families. So on their behalf, thank you. Samaritan Center for Grief Support is one of our many above and beyond programs and services that are sustained by the generous support of our community. Visit our website to learn more about the Center for Grief Support and about the many ways that you can give the gift of hospice. Thanks again and warmest wishes for a happy, healthy, and prosperous new year. <laughs>